It's great seeing Denzel Washington and Ethan Hawke and an Anton Fuqua movie again, bringing the band back together. Just a nice little reunion. <laughs> The Magnificent Seven is the latest movie of Anton Fuqua's filmography, which, you know, can stretch to Training Day, has had some good action movies like The Equalizer and Olympus is Falling. And now The Magnificent Seven is the, you know, reboot of the classic Western film that started with Steve McQueen, I think was the headliner of that, and had other, like, famous actors. It's like, you know, a little group of all-stars coming together. And, you know, it's a Western movie, and... And you know the stories how they are, you know, the good guys up against the bad guys. So this is a retelling now in, um, in this age, and it has now Denzel Washington as the lead cowboy. And he is surrounded with an ensemble cast, which includes Chris Pratt, Ethan Hawke, Vincent D'Onofrio, and many more. Anton Fuqua recently has made not great movies, but he's made good, entertaining action movies. And... I wanted to see what type of this movie could have been. It had so much potential with the marketing. And I just wanted to give it a chance. It looks like it was going to be, you know, a good time. And I came out having a fun time with this movie. I'm glad, you know, if it wasn't going to be a great movie, I'm glad it marketed the way it should and it delivered. It was a slam band action fest everywhere. It, it just kicked ass. You can say a fun movie, it could still be bad or good. For me, it's on the good side because, you know... I don't want to use fun as an excuse. For me, it was fun in a way where the characters were, you know, were written well and you were able to get some development with them that you cared for them and you felt like even though the group kind of assembled quickly, I loved that it made sense at least and they assembled and they became like this band of brothers. They felt like a family after a little while somehow like the way they were just developed it just felt like you know they didn't know what to think of each other but then after a while they got used to each other that even like the insults against each other felt more like a brotherly love type of thing and this is one of the best parts of the movie it's just seeing them all together it works so well and that helped the action be more fun the sound effects the special effects of this is incredible especially if you see it in IMAX it kicked ass so well and I just love seeing how they're all badasses. It reminded me of some kind of Western Avengers. I just love seeing them all group up. They did it so well, like fleshing the villains in a way where you, you hate them so bad. And when they kick ass, the good guys, it's just amazing to see that. And I love the way, you know, this feels like a Western. And this Anto Fuka set it up perfectly, you know, picked great locations to make it look like this movie, you know, is shot in those old style Western type of movies. It's just great seeing Denzel Washington be still this charismatic person that you know him can kick ass. Chris Pratt being that lovable guy who can kick ass too. Everybody just supported one another and just feels like, you know, they all came, helped the director and celebrated this movie. The writing was good, you know, the writing was solid. It wasn't perfect. It was still, you know, it was believable. You can still you know, make sense of what the story and how the dialogue is being delivered. You know, the villain wasn't fully developed. He was underlooked. He was just not utilized well. But they served in a way, like I said, where they were so annoying that you wanted to see them get their asses kicked. And it worked in that way. The music, the music is incredible. Just he hearing that little Western kind of style of music it fits so well with this it gives you time just to hang out with the crew a little bit it gives you a build up to you know the big climax um you have you have scenes that give you like emotional heart that you know it really makes you later on you know just care that much more i just had a good time with this movie where you know at least every character every person there was thoughtly writ written at least and it gave you some kind of you know emotional grab as the action scenes are going, guys. I might have to give The Magnificent Seven an A-. minus. Let me know, guys, what you thought of this movie. Did you guys love it or hate it? Let me know what your favorite Antoine Fuqua movie, your favorite Denzel Washington movie, all in the comments below. That's always Roland Empire. Laugh, smile, repeat.